Hello everyone, my name is Gordon Dennis, also known as the Internet Comedian. I want to welcome you to my 22nd stand-up. Let's begin. I found out there's two times a year that monsters come out. Halloween. Does anyone know the second day? No, it's not Day of the Dead. That's the day that the dead come back to life. How I said, Halloween's the first. The second day? Army Family Reunions. I love horror movies. My favorite horror movie is uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. The 1984 version, now that 2010 shit. Only one person could play Freddy Krueger, and that's Robert England. But I bring this up because me and my friend were talking back and forth, saying, who's scary as a kid? And I said, how about Freddy? And she said, no, Freddy didn't scare her as a kid. Freddy reminded her of a pizza. So I guess his name should have been Pizza Krueger. I can also see when she's ordering out, you know, Hey, Val, what's for dinner? Oh, I ordered out Freddy. Or they're sitting around the table. Ooh, I'm taking a slice of Freddy. Mmm, Freddy tastes a little funny tonight. I also like horror books, you know. My favorite author of all time is R.L. Stein. The Goosebumps books? Yeah. My favorite book is Night of the Living Dummy. A ventriloquist, ventriloquist dummy that comes to life and wrecks havoc. And that's where I actually got my inspiration from, is R.L. Stein. And me and him actually have a lot of similarities. He started writing when he was 9, I started when I was 12. When he was younger, he stayed in his room and wrote, I did the same thing. When he was younger, people thought he was weird. When I was younger, people thought I was a loser. But don't get me wrong, I have friends, I just don't see them. And that's the thing about invisible friends. But my friends have their own lives, you know, they're having kids, they get married, they get divorced, you know, so. But I'm going to quote Jack Black from Goosebumps. <clears throat> When I was younger, I suffered from allergies that kept me indoors, and kids would throw rocks at my windows and make fun of me. So I made my own friends, monsters, ghouls, demons, friends to terrorize my neighborhood and the kids that made fun of me. And then they became real to me. And that's the thing, us writers, whatever we write about, our stories are our friends. And by the way, don't miss Goosebumps 2, Haunted Halloween, which hits theaters October 19th. I go to Spirit Halloween in Halloween City every year, you know. I remember one year I went to Spirit Halloween, I walked right in, and they had a clown in an electric chair. I, so I pushed the button and he goes off, ha 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 I'm thinking, that's fucking creepy. Because they're going to make it seem like clowns think that electric chairs are fun. But that's one game you never see at parties, do you? Okay guys, gather around, it's time to play electrical chairs. But Spirit Halloween just released their new uh, decorations. People call them decorations, I call them toys. They have a spider that moves by itself. They have a guy that's wrapped in a cobweb with spiders on him and he moves. They have a witch, which I want because it can replace the witch that I have. A vulture. A clown. But if I have the clown, I put him out in a field somewhere, have smoke surround him, and as the tour group's coming up towards him, have people dressed as clowns emerge from the smoke and surround the tour group. And they also have about this tall, it's uh, called twins. It's two twin girls, and when they go off, they go off and say, Daddy told us to play outside so we can get blood on the floor. But I have a few ideas, you know, for Halloween. 
like uh, a giant bat. I mean human size, you know. My costumes, you know, like the Knotlock, the Woodsman, Hyena, the Flying Nuisance, Black X. I had to think about the last one. But September and October are me and my older brother's busiest months because we have to set up the tour. And uh, this year we're not doing the tour because we don't have the yard to do it. So most likely I'm going to be free on Halloween. So if you want, you guys can come invite me to a Halloween party. I'll come dressed as an internet comedian. But in 2007, me and my older brother started a tradition for the entire month of October where we watch horror movies. Like Child's Play, Friday the 13th, Halloween. And we weren't just watch those, we watched the originals like Frankenstein, Dracula, White Zombie, My Parents' Wedding Video, those kind of horror movies. But we did that for seven years until 2015 when I moved over to Lordsville. I did a spin off and called it Colin Dennis's Halloween Fear Fest. This year is my fourth annual, which started yesterday. My older brother, he's on his 11th annual, which as well started yesterday. But there's a difference between me and my older brother. He only watches horror movies. I watch the actual genres of Halloween. And the actual genres are horror, thriller, occult, and a slasher movie. That didn't really have a joke to it, did it? But in 2016 is where we started doing the tour and everything, and uh, in 2016, uh, somebody was getting rid of their Halloween stuff. And we know them, so they gave those stuff to us, but that year she gave us a shitload of stuff, you know. She gave us a guy in a barrel, okay, it's an actual barrel, okay. We set him up in the yard, our mailman goes, delivers our mail, he's walking away, then he stops and he tells us, he says, he loves how we decorate. And then he says that one day he was driving down the road, he happens to see in the yard, and he says, why is our neighbor in our yard? Apparently there's a woman that lives over in Lorksville that has gray hair, well, wears flannel shirts, and is apparently green, so. But the night of Halloween, I dressed up as my uh, character Black X from my story, Class Reunion. I have a pitchfork in one hand, my other, my left wrist is chained. I'm scaring people, I'm not just scaring kids, I'm scaring adults, you know, a woman comes walk, walking through, I go to move and she jumped like 10 feet. Three kids came through. Now my older brother was leading the tour group, okay? He goes past me, the first kid comes past me as well, I go to move. Now, I can't see the other two kids, but I can hear them. I go to move. The other two kids go out and say, I don't fucking think so. They ran through our yard, through our gate, down the street, and never got their candy. My niece went through the tour with my oldest brother. Now, around this time, the lights in our tour went out. They weren't supposed to. And there's nothing like the feeling of fear when lights go out on your tour and there's a six foot guy darting towards you. She tried to run, but my oldest brother grabbed her and calmed her down and said, it's just me. Then a group just got done coming through the tour and uh, they were leaving and uh, there was a teenage girl that said something. I'm not sure what she said, but made me Climb over our fence. Once I got to the other side, I never seen people get into their car fast enough. Then my brother-in-law Roy invited his friend John down and his family. So they come and everything. Now I'm standing at the exit of the tour. I was standing at the entrance. Now I'm standing at the exit. John and his family come in and I quickly froze like this. 
John sees me, walks up to me, and does this. And says, oh my god, that's a real person. That's when I realized I could be a mannequin. Then in 20, last year's tour, of course, 2017, uh, we got more things and everything, but we changed it up because you can't keep it the same. You know, if you keep it the same, no one's going to come back, you know. The first group that comes is still daylight out, okay? We asked them, you want to go through our tour? They said no. You know you do a good job when people say they don't want to go through your tour during the daytime. Then a father with three kids came, and uh, they walked past. The father of dead stops right in front of me, okay? Now, I'm dressed in my knotlock costume, okay? In my hand, I'm holding a nail bat. It's an actual nail bat. It's an actual piece of wood with nails in it. The father goes to reach, and then he decides, and then he walks away. I come out, and I follow him. I get to the entrance. The kids see me and try to run. The father sees me and starts laughing. And he tells me, he says, You know, I thought you were a mannequin. Oh, excuse me. So the night goes on and everything, and uh, my older brother invited his co-worker down and her husband. You know, they walk past me, I come out, I go through the exit. Now, I was following people through the entrance, but I went through the exit. I found a spot and I froze and I was in this position for five minutes. Guys, after five minutes holding a nail bat and also holding a sword, your arms do get tired. So I see him coming, so I quickly do the pose again and everything. The husband sees me and says, that is a wonderful mannequin, until I started moving. Then our old neighbor's kids came through with their friends and everything, and uh, Ethan and Patrick came with Patrick's parents. Now, Ethan is our old neighbor's kids, you know, and he loved how we decorated for the three years we lived over in Larksville. I come out, I go through the exit, Ethan sees me and gets a big smile on his face. Patrick sees me and he goes frozen stiff. So I started walking up towards Patrick. He's walking backwards towards the entrance. I get right in front of him. He extends his hand. He wants to make friends. Guys, when I'm in character, I don't make friends. I make screams. And this is the thing. He surprises the hell out of me. I go to walk towards him. He does a football spin around me and runs to the exit. Then Patrick's parents came through the tour. They pass me, I go through the exit. Patrick's, Patrick's father sees me and he gets a big smile on his face. Patrick's mother sees me and she goes frozen stiff. And then that's when I realized that's where Patrick gets his jeans from. Oh, and a woman got pissed at me. I'll explain why. A group just got done coming through the tour, okay? One of the kids is telling me, you can't follow us, you can't follow us, okay? I follow them out front. As I'm going, now there's a line forming for the tour. I walk past this woman and I overhear, overhear her say, so will you stop scaring people? It's not funny. Guys, if you can't handle being scared, don't go out on Halloween, bitch. Then there's a husband, a wife, and a daughter that stop by. And uh, now I get, my tomb is right next to the porch, okay? So I could hear them talking out front. They're asking the daughter if she wants to go through. You know, the daughter didn't go through, only the husband did. So the husband passes me. I come out and I look at the tour. I'm like, he's not my target. I turn this way. Now there's a cloak here 
for the front. And there's also a cloak to the front as well. The one out front is moved, okay? I go to move this one. The daughter sees me and starts screaming bloody murder. I'm telling you she awoke the entire neighborhood with that scream. I have one more funny uh, story here. A group just got done coming through our tour, okay? I turned my attention to a group that's walking down the street. And I could hear them saying, You can't scare us, you can't scare us. Guys, when people say I can't, I love their expression when I prove them wrong. Because I climbed over our friends and I chased that group down the street. And when I mean I chased that group down the street, I chased them. I made it about a block and a half. I'm walking back, and one of the kids in the group rewards me with a cheese it bag he pulls from his own trick-or-treat bag. And he says, thanks for the scares. That was great. Funny part is that same group came back later on that night. I climbed the fence again. Now there's one target in my mind. Whoever is the most afraid is my target. There's a girl who is cringing, and I mean she's cringing like crazy. She's holding on to a one friend like this. She's trying to look at me, but she doesn't want to. The girl that's getting cringed on says politely, Could you stop scaring her? She's hurting my arm. She asked politely, so I stopped. But before I walked away, I needed this girl to know I'm friendly. For the first time ever, I actually extended my hand for a handshake. She wanted to shake my hand at first, not until her two friends shook my hand, then she did. Now, it was funny until the following day, because then I thought, what's going to happen to her when she gets older? Everyone knows uh, Halloween songs, right? You know, uh, these were the Halloween songs that I was taught as a kid, me and my siblings. <clears throat> pumpkin man, pumpkin man, catch the brownie if you can. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. If the brownie will stand still. Now, if you think about that song for a minute, it deals with a pothead chasing a fucking brownie. Here's another one. Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. If you don't, I don't care, I'll pull down your underwear. Think about that. Especially that last line, our parents are teaching us that it's all right to go up to somebody and pull down their underwear. All right, son, he didn't give you any treats. Pull down his underwear and let his dong hit you in the face. That's not a song, that's a lawsuit. I have a few uh, jokes here, you know, if you guys want, uh, not jokes, uh, songs. I got a few songs here. <clears throat> it always feels like somebody's stalking me. I don't know anymore. If I were a guest, I think the person that's stalking me is the IRS. Everybody of every size, follow me to be terrorized. You will scream when you will see. This our tour of Halloween, tour of Halloween, tour of Halloween. Now, guys, uh, before I go, I uh, have a quick announcement here. Uh, my next stand-up. I'm gonna be either cutting my hair. My mustache or my billy goat. This is why I call this a billy goat. I'm cutting one of them, but the thing is, I'm not deciding. You guys are. And whatever you guys decide, I'm cutting on my next stand up, and I will, will not have that for the entire of 2019. And also, don't miss my five new stand ups for uh, 2019 on February 19th. Don't miss Colin Den James Dennis's third anniversary stand-up. On April 27th, don't miss Sing Along with Internet Comedian Forever. 
on June 22nd, don't miss an evening with the Internet Comedian. <clears throat> on September 12th, don't miss the Internet Comedian Sings Here is a List. And then on October 25th, don't miss Colton James Dennis's Friday the 27th stand-up. I want to thank you guys for watching. Keep on watching. And I love you guys.